Okay, so we've got our GitHub site up. We haven't created any repositories yet. So if I go to my repositories, I don't have any. Now there's a special repository that is related to whatever username that you've got. So if you give it a, this name, so let me do new and John Tango dot GitHub dot IO. Okay, so you have GitHub dot IO added to your username. So that's my and we'll call it website. And just give an MIT license, say, and create the repository. Okay, so it comes up with this, and this tells us how to clone this repository down onto our machine. So this repository is in the cloud, remember. Let's just put a readme file in there first. So I click on this, scroll down, and I commit the new file. And so we've got a readme file now in this repository. I'm going to create another file. So if we click on create new file here, I'm going to call it index.html. Let's just put hello world in there just for now. Scroll down, need to commit that. And all of this, remember, is in the cloud. Okay. So. Now it turns out that this special repository, I can, if I address it here, HTTPS, instead of github.com, just go with the name that you gave this repository. Okay, there we are, hello world. So, GitHub serves up this special repository for you as a website. So that's huge. Right, let's see now. We need to set up on our own machine a copy of this. Okay, so we've got our repo in the cloud. Now what we want to do is we want to be able to manipulate it on our laptop. And so we're going to do a git clone first to set up these uh, three spaces. In fact, your workspace, you choose this workspace. I've called it C slash full stack, but on your machine it'll be different. But now what's going to happen when we clone is it's going to set up these uh, the staging area where we're going to do git add, and then from that we're going to do a git commit, and then a git push to push it back to the repository. So that's the kind of cycle that we're going to go through. And first let's uh, take a look. We need the tools to be able to manipulate uh, GitHub, if you like, on our laptop. And we call those tools Git. So let's see where we get those. So we get, first we're gonna download Git for the laptop. And if you go to this site, it's got it for Mac, Windows, and Linux. So go there, and if uh, you need further instructions, uh, go to this other link. So once you've got Git loaded on your laptop, if uh, you're a Mac user, you're going to use your own command window. However, if you're a Windows user, you also need to install Git Bash. And this is just, it's a silly name, but it's a command line tool that we're going to be using for issuing Git commands on our laptop. So go and install those. Okay, so now that we've got Git installed on our machine, we can open up our command window. So on the Mac, uh, just the command window on uh, Windows, open Git Bash, and open it in the directory where you want uh, the code to be edited. So choose a directory, and uh, here I've called it full stack. And what's going to happen when we clone, it's going to set up these uh, the Git um, repository on our local machine. So we're going to have a staging area and a local repo and both of those are going to un be under whatever name uh, you chose. It's going to add a .git folder. Okay, 
So let's go and uh, do that now. So the first thing I do is I need to decide where I'm going to work on my machine. So here I'm setting this up under 1.125 directory where I'm going to do the lectures. And I've created a directory called working. And inside that is nothing. So let me now, I'm going to right click and I've set up something called git bash here. If you're on a Mac, you can just use a command window. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this now to clone the repository. So let's go back to our GitHub. Here we are. And now we need to clone. And I'm going to get this, I'm going to get a copy here of this address. So I'm going to do a control C to get a copy of that. Now I'm going to go back to my command window, git bash window, if I'm working on the PC. We're going to issue a git clone, and then we're going to put what we copied. So it's copied whatever was up in the cloud into a new directory here, and it's got the same name uh, as the repository in the cloud. So let's go into there, and we'll note that there's a .git file. So it's already created this local repository for us, and we'll see that in our working directory, we've got the two files from the cloud repository, index.html. Okay, let's quickly modify this index.html. So we'll modify the code here. This is how we'll be working. So let me bring up my Visual Studio. And a shortcut for doing that is to type code. And it'll start VS Code. So here I've got VS Code. And I need to open a folder. And let's see if I can find, yep, let me open this folder. So I'm in VS Code. And we've got index.html. It just says hello world. Let's pretty this up a little bit so we get an HTML file. So I'm going to start HTML and let's give this an h1 heading. Let's put hello world between the h1. Okay, and we need the slash HTML, and when I save it, it'll pretty it up. Here we are. So I've now edited this index.html and saved it to the working directory. So what we have now, let me go forward here to the next slide. So what we've got now is index in our working directory has been updated. The next thing I want to do is move it to the staging area, then move it to our local repo. So it's stored there, that the most up-to-date is stored there. Then finally, we're going to push it up to the cloud. Okay, so let's go back. We're going to add it to the staging area, then commit it to the local repo, and then push it. Okay, and here we are. And if I do cat on index, we'll see that it's changed. Yep, it's got the HTML. And right, let's now do a git add. And I'm going to add everything that's been changed. If I look now and do a git, so you can see everything. So I did a git add. Now let's do a git status. Okay, we'll see index.html has been modified. Let's do a git commit minus m and we put a comment a message comment so first edit this can be anything you like it's just though when you keep track of changes now let's do a git push now i need to remember where i'm pushing to it's that address let's do this ah couldn't read i don't have the right access rights 
So what's gone on is that I, for me to do this, I need to have, I need to set up SSH. I need to use the public key infrastructure so that GitHub knows who's talking to it. So I've been refused by the cloud. Let's get, let's put that right. So what we need to do is we need to create PKI, public key infrastructure files for GitHub. And this is the command here. So we're going to use this command to create the files. So remember to put in your correct email address. And it's generating an RSA key pair now. Now I can get a choice of where to put it. I actually don't want to put it exactly I've got previous files so I'm going to put it under users dot ssh now you can choose I'm going to call this git4 don't put any passphrase if you do you're going to be asked for it all the time so no passphrase now I've got a key generated called git4 I can find it if I do, okay, here it is, git4. You can see I've been practicing git1, git2, git3, git4. Okay, so I've got my key. So now I need to, to do the following to add it to the agent that's managing these keys on my machine. I need to check that the agent is running, and then I'm going to do this command to add it to the keys that are being managed, okay? Let me check that my agent is running. Yeah, it's running. And now let's add that key. And it's added. So my agent has got that key. Now I can go back and... Okay, so we've got uh, the keys on our local machine. Now we need to tell the cloud about our keys. So let's go find our keys. I happen to know that their local disk, I'm at, it's under users, JRW, that's me, here's the keys, and I need to get the key git4 and put it into a browser, sorry, into an editor, oh, let's, let's use this one. I can file, open folder. So now I go to, and I've got all the keys. And here's, if I view wrap around, uh, word wrap, you'll see this SSH key is quite a long key. Okay, I need to copy everything of that. I've got it in my local, uh, I've just taken a copy of that. Now I need to go back up here and I need to go into settings. So I need to go here, SSH keys, and do the new SSH key here. Add that key, uh, call it git4. Git4. Add SSH key. Okay, so we've got the keys now both ends. Uh, this knows about GitHub, knows about me in the cloud, and my local one also knows about me. Now let's go back and try our push. Yes. Okay, let's take a look in the cloud. Just make sure that, so go back to the repository. Here it is, and let's take a look at the index file. Yet yeah, now it's got the HTML in, it's got the H1 tag. Let's uh, hit it now in our browser. So here, let me type into the browser. And because it's called index, it's going to find it. And here we are, hello world, much bigger font this time. So now we've gone right through our loop. We created a repository in the cloud. We cloned it down to our own workspace. 
we set up keys now when we can edit in our workspace and then we did a git add to push it to the staging area and then we did a git commit to put it to our local repo and then a git push to do the git push we had to set up the keys so you remember we generated a key pair on our local machine that was the git for we put it under the agent that manages the keys so our local machine knew about our new key and then we had to go up to our github repo and tell uh, github about our new key which was called git4 remember and then the git push succeeded so now we've got a great way of quickly editing our files let's go back and see and we've got index let's uh, put an image in my workspace let's go grab an image and I'm going to grab uh, this one what do I need to do well I'm going to edit and refer to this image uh, let me just make it an easier name jrwjpeg okay and now let's tell it about this image I'm going to make sure that it goes into a different place on the I'm going to put it in a div and I'm going to do image source equals uh, quotes jrw gave me the choice here jrw.jpg and let's do height equals uh, 200 that should be fine we'll save it okay it's saved now what do we need to do well we need to go through everything we did before with the add uh, git add dot git commit minus m add image okay that's committed git uh, push and let me get the make sure I'm pushing in the right place okay now let's just go back to our site so it's already updated on that website so now if I go here and just replay that again perfect okay so that's basically your first problem set I want you to put up that web page and go through the editing and uh, make it uh, prettier than this one okay